Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Welcome back for another video, I guess. It's Friday again. <laughs> And I decided that I was going to vlog. I kickstart my exciting weekend. In the last few weeks, I have done multiple things. I have isolated twice. Um, I have moved to London. Um, I've got my hair done. I've just been settling into my new house. So this is a new bedroom. And yeah, this weekend's a big one. This weekend is a big one. This is one that I've been waiting for for a really long time. I am going to a festival tomorrow. To start off the weekend, me and my housemates are going to have a dinner together, and chill out and watch Love Island because it is a big episode today. It's the second episode of the boys coming back from Casa Amor. So um, lots of drama to be had. But Hey, hello. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm making a crispy smoked tofu curry and it's a recipe that I'm following from online so I'll obviously link it below. The things that you will need for this, some rice, I've got long grain rice just because I prefer it, easier to cook. Some smoked tofu, I use two tofu kos, smoked tofu. Some chilli, fresh chilli would be better for this, but um, we've got chopped chilies. There wasn't any fresh chilli at the shop. Peanut butter for the satay. Coconut milk, I've got two cans because I don't think one will be enough. It says 400 grams on the recipe, but I always find that when you like follow recipes and they're making sauces, it's never enough. So I always double up on the sauce. Some coriander for flavor. A knob of ginger. I'm gonna add half an onion as well, just because I quite like an onion curry. And then on top for garnish, um, spring onions because it's nothing that beats a fresh spring onion on top of like a nice curry. That's everything so I guess we'll just like follow along and cook together which will be fun. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Cutting onions is so much fun. To start with I've chopped up some coriander, some white onion and then some spring onion. Spring onion is going to be for the garnish, the white onion and the coriander are going to go inside the curry sauce. And right here for four people I've got 400 grams of rice following the recipe on this one. Don't want to overdo it on the rice. Just going to wash all of this. Always wash your rice. Always wash your rice. <laughs> Boil that on like a simmer for 25-ish minutes. <laughs> Yeah. And drop it in. Definitely try out that recipe, it was very good. The crispy tofu came out incredible. Um, and now we're gonna have dessert, watch Love Island. It's a big episode. So yeah, this is my set, uh, my Friday night. I enjoy cooking for people, so that was fun. Just wanna get all <laughs> Friday Friday Friday. 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 Oh, as well. Yeah. <laughs> he opens the car door and he's It wasn't that hard? No, I'm <gasps> I would storm off. Okay, it's time to say goodnight. Prep for tomorrow has just begun. I just did my fake tan routine and it doesn't look very good on camera. It's quite late. I'm going to be out all day tomorrow, so I'm going to be tired, but I'll catch you then when we're back for a big day of festivaling. I am excited and nervous all at the same time. Okay, so I just got back from the shop, a little Aldi haul. Um, going for a simple breakfast today. Some bagels, 69p. Pork and honey chipolatas. Apple and elderflower sparkling water. And some vodka. So I'm just gonna whip up um, like a sausage bagel with an egg on top. Then it's time to get ready, like put my makeup on and like my outfit and stuff. So that's gonna be fun. We'll do a little get ready with me. Okay, so 
It is makeup time. I'm very excited. I'm gonna do my base first. So we're using the Ordinary Buffet Solution. And I just wipe that in everywhere. And that's all soaked in. I'm going to use CeraVe's Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Just two pumps of that all over my face. This has SPF in it. And then Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream by Origins. Get this much on my finger. And this just brightens and puffs your eyes. So that's my skincare routine, basically. Glossier's um, Perfecting Skin Tint. And this is all I use on my face. Yeah, we're gonna go with G6. Because I have freckles, I don't like to really use like heavy foundations because they cover up my freckles and it looks really funny. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face. And then rub that in with my fingers. I have got Glossier's G6. G6 concealer as well. Really nice packaging. Just gonna put that under my eyes and over my eyelid as well to kind of create a base for my eyeshadow. Now it's time to decide what I'm going to do with my eyes. I think I'm gonna go quite simple. A black winged eyeliner with like lumber, which is this color here in my inner corner and then it's like simple it won't be running down my face because i'm gonna be out all day i want it to look fun but like stay in place so we're gonna go quite simple i think to start i'm gonna use my bronzer which is hula by benefit i'm just gonna dust this all over my eyelid i'm using the tapered blend blending brush by sigma and e40 and then now i'm gonna go in and do my eyeliner um for my eyeliner i use l'oreal palette Paris tattoo signature and there we are it sits together nicely and then that on the other side like so Ta -da! kind of even and then now I'm going to go in with my Sigma brush again it's E30 pencil by Sigma and what I'm gonna do is just take um, a shimmer from here so I think I'm gonna go with lumber this one has um, kind of some goldy and orangey shimmers in it which will really match my outfit so get the product on there and do my inner corner highlight and I'm actually gonna go along my lower lash line as well whenever I'm doing makeup like this I just kind of improv what I feel like at the time and kind of take into account how long I'm gonna be out for um, and like what's gonna like what's gonna be going on. Like I'm probably gonna be I'm gonna be drinking a lot, so you know it's not I'm not gonna be looking pretty by like halfway through the day. <laughs> like the less makeup on your face to smudge, the better. Less is more in my opinion. Ta-da! And this is my eyes. And then I'm gonna apply um their reel by benefit, which is my favorite mascara. Second eye done. Now for some bronzer. I don't know where my big bronzing brush is, so that's annoying, but I'm gonna use this brush that comes with Benefit. So using Benefit again, just dab, dab, dab. Up into the hairline, kind of on the jaw, and then a little bit on the temples, just there. Then I go in with um, High Beam, by benefit again. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Keep it bow. I like to go up into the eyebrow as well with a little bit of it just to, you know, get those high points. Oh, no, no. Finally, my eyebrows. This is Glossier's Boy Brow in dark brown. And I brush through my eyebrows like this. And I just leave them. I used to pluck the underneath and stuff, but I know at one point I just left it for so long and then I was like, no one said anything. And they don't look that bad, so why not? I pray for the 90s, like thin brows never come back into fashion because that would be embarrassing for me. And that is everything. This is my finished look. So top is from Motel um, Rocks. Dress is just a usual, 
uh, bodycon dress from Zara and then I'm wearing my Nike Air Force Ones and that's it, that's everything. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, very excited and catch you later. Yesterday was so much fun. I had the best time and that's all I can really debrief on it right now because Yay! Okay, that was really good. Anyway, it's Sunday. I feel tired and exhausted and my legs hurt from dancing so much. Um, but yeah, that festival was like, it was so good to be just like with my friends and around other people and to just be dancing in a crowd. I don't think there's anything like that, that feeling that it kind of gives you. It's like your own little tribe of people that are all just vibing to the same kind of music and just having a good time, drinking, eating, like celebrating other people's art. I think it's really cool. I appreciate those moments a lot and I definitely appreciated last night so much just because, well, I haven't done that in over a year and a half, um, maybe two years now. So and it's like one of my most favorite activities to do. Just like, it's nice to feel normal again, or like a resemblance, a resemblance? A resemblance of normal, I think. It's been so long since we had those moments um, and it was really worth it. So. Uh, if anyone's thinking about going to a festival or just thinking about going to a club to dance with some friends, would recommend. It is a brilliant experience um, and I will never take it for granted again, although I never really took it for granted before. Okay, so split, well, rash decision made this afternoon. It's been about, I don't even know, four hours since I last picked up the camera. But um, I decided that I'm going to go spend a couple of days with my boyfriend in Birmingham because why not? Um, so, I guess you're coming along with me. I went for dinner last night with my sister and her boyfriend and my boyfriend. It was our first time meeting. Yeah, just got to socialise a little bit and then came back and was just so tired from my weekend and then travelling. Um, literally just went to bed, watched Love Island and then crashed and I've just woken up, showered to make myself feel better. And I start working about 20 minutes. So I thought I'd close out the vlog here because yeah, not much else to show. I will be working all day. Um, anyway, hope you all have a good week uh, and I'll see you again soon.